ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another cast with Trend Following Tyson. I am somewhat excited to get back here in the markets, get back here to this analysis. So this is going to be for the for the month of June. Uh, this is the trend following stock analysis starting for the month of June. Um, we had a beautiful closing on May. All right, for anybody that's been kind of following this deal here. Uh, trend following with Tyson we had a beautiful a very nice May so the focus is uh, is gonna be kinda keeping this consistency let's keep following these trends and keep minimizing minimizing our losses okay uh, so let's take a quote from one of the best trend following traders uh, kind of he was kind of uh, taught from one of the original trend following traders which is Bill Dunn He's part of that whole original turtle traders thing. Uh, this is a quote from Richard Dunn. Let's get to this before we get into the trend analysis. You have to minimize your losses and try to preserve capital capital for those very few instances where you can make a lot in a very short period of time. What you can't afford to do is throw away your capital on suboptimal trades. So on your losses, you need to minimize your losses and try to preserve the capital for the instances where we have some really nice trades that are gonna really maximize themselves out over a short period of time and when we enter these trends we don't know how long they're gonna last or how much they're gonna give us in what time frame I mean they can go from we can make an entry at five and they can go to twenty dollars in a week or we can make an entry at five and it go to fifty dollars in a year okay so but you need to save save your capital so that when these home runs come you can actually benefit from them and add some weight to them okay all right a good trend following system will keep you in the market until there is evidence that the trend has changed when we get into today's list I'm gonna get into some winners that we've been riding for some time and uh, we're gonna kinda I'm gonna kinda show you uh, this 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 quote is totally irrelevant a good trend following system will keep you in the market until there is evidence that the trend has changed because we're still following winners and the trend has not changed and the trend will change when we either hit a moving average that we've been respecting for some for some time when we hit a trend line or when we start when we start having three or more consistent lower lows closes below each other okay and that brings me to my last quote to my last point because all this is bringing all this is coinciding so when you have a position this is the last quote when you have a position you put it on for a reason and you've got to keep it until the reason no longer exists so when we made an entry on TNDM and we made an entry on some of these winners I and such forth we made an entry on them because they were having higher highs and they were showing strength and consistency if you look back at those charts they're still showing higher highs, higher lows, and that consistency and that strength. So we're still following them because when you have a position, quote, a quote from Richard Dennis, when you have a position, you put it on for a reason and you've got to keep it until the reason no longer exists. So these are reasons for holding these trends still exist. Brings me to the trend picture. Okay, let's get into the stocks. Brings me to EVH. So we like to follow rounding bottoms and we like to catch reversals in price and we like to catch trends as early as we can when we start noticing higher highs and higher lows we start crossing over moving averages and those type of things so right here you see on this chart EVH obviously was at some type of a downtrend and in November it had just dropped from seventeen fifty to ten dollars okay and we rounded on ten dollars here we dropped here, rounded at ten dollars, hit this bottom, and then we started having higher highs and higher lows. So since we've bottomed and had these higher highs and higher lows, look what this stock has done since then. So it's important to recognize these higher highs and higher lows as quickly as possible so that you can capitalize on the upside. Okay? You need to make your entry you need to hold these trends until you have evidence that this trend has changed, or that and, and, and until you have evidence, all right, that the trend no longer exists. 
I got a few tickers here and I'm going to get through them quickly. AKO. AKAO. Sorry. This stock's looking wonderful. It's having some round it's having this rounding pattern here starting to have some higher highs and higher lows come in. All right, so I like this thing to break out above this area here going into $14, okay? Cuz as you can see, we tried here. We tried once. Came down, tried again. And it's just a matter of time, you know, let's just watch this thing to see if it gets going. So let's watch this for the month. Let's watch this. And I'm not saying just watch these for Monday, Tuesday. I'm saying watch the upside on these. Watch to see what these trends do. When they get going, you want to make your entries, okay? APRN, this Blue Apron Company, kind of was a big hit when it came to the stock market and kind of just crapped on itself, so to speak. But it's also showing... Some evidence of higher highs and higher lows from this bottom here. All right, looks like we've got found a bottom. You never know when prices are going to start acting correctly. You never know when things are going to start happening, so to speak, in this market. Okay. So let, let me close up the time frame on APRN and show you something. So you what we got. So you see the strength on the five day. Look at that, two nine to three eighteen. So I like this thing to hold up these prices. Three ten and three oh five. Three dollars. All right. Let's see if Apron can hold up three dollars and see if we get some upside over three twenty. All right. See, like we're kind of barreling against this three twenty right now. Upside, and then we're barreling against it. Okay. So looks like we have strength banging up against resistance here. So possible breakout. Watch APR in and get going. And this thing has some upside, as I just showed you guys. All right. This thing has some upside, and it, it's, it's, it only goes back about a year since July when this stock first opened up. Opened up at 10, fell on itself, all right? Never know when that thing's going to get going. So watch that thing to get going, APRN. ADAP. This stock I was watching all of 2017, and it's just, just a monster. Okay? All right? Show you, let's go back, take it a little further if we can. Alright. So same thing with APRN. Stock opens up here. Alright. Drop sentiment. Okay. And then when sentiment starts picking up, you want to be there for it. Okay. So I remember, I remember seeing the stock at around $2. $2 is a change. $3 is a change. Okay. Now it's at $13.44. Alright, so I like this thing for the strength to continue out through June. If you're looking for some entries, look for it to hold 320 and look for it to break above 350. Alright, stop yourself out underneath 340, 320 in this area here. Alright, break out above 350 and hold these prices here, 320, 330, okay? Or 320, alright? Give you some buffer space. Just going to show you guys nothing but trends right now. It's a new month. We closed very well in June and in, in May. Very nice month in May. This stock doesn't look the best, but has plenty of upside. Okay, and is showing strength currently. Showing strength currently. Okay, I don't know how far this strength's going to go. Nobody knows how far this strength's going to go. Okay. So I like I like where this is at now by this opening price, this closing price. See if we can hold this 180 and see if prices go to continue to the upside. But there's plenty of upside here if this thing even attempts to get moving. All right. If it gets over this, then you guys should really pay attention to it. If it gets over 280. Okay. then it dang well can get right into this gap here alright so watch that thing alright if it gets over 280 here can darn well if it gets over this area here 295 and three dollars where it's you know alright AXON CDNA another very strong stock Alright, look how strong that is. Alright. 
I read you guys a quote from uh, Drunken Miller that was talking about riding waves and surfing. And all we're doing is just surfing the string. Alright? Look for an entry here. Look for this thing to hold up this level. 320. <coughs> Excuse me. You could buy a breakout over this. Alright, you can set a breakout order over 360 and just ride with that thing. See how that works out. CDNA. Alright. CERS, we were watching this last year. And I'll show you exactly where we were watching it at. Alright, let me show you where we I might have I may have one or two people that may still be long on this thing. Never know. Because we were definitely watching it. I'm going to start it making this move here. Alright. So watch for that thing to hold up these prices here. 627, 630. Alright, you see it right on the chart. Close it up, give you a picture. Alright. So look for it to hold up this price here. 645, 640. Alright, watch for some upside. Definitely watch for upside on CRS. There's no reason why that thing shouldn't keep moving. CISN. Alright, I showed you guys this one last week. Wonderful stock. A lot of strength in it. Alright. Wow, look at that. Alright. I like for this thing to break out over 1508. You can set a buy stop at 1510, 1515, or 1510. I wouldn't set it as close to 1510. That's a false breakout. But I like it over 1515 and 1520. It means that we're actually moving. All right, but it's holding 15 like a champ. All right. So watch CISN. DNR. We were watching this one. It kind of faded away. It didn't fade away, but it had some pullback, and eh, I was questioning the direction and what we were going to do with this, what was going to happen here. But as you see, it dropped off. Let me see. It's going to give you the monthly. All right, that is the monthly. All right, so we 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 were following it all this way. Let me show you why we were following it. Okay, we we're following it because it was doing this thing here. Look, look what happened to my trend line. Totally broke out of that, right? Look how look how this thing was trading nice and snugly inside this trend line and then just decided to boom break out. Alright, so I like DNR to continue. As you see, very strong in the last five days. And I like for it to keep con continuing to hold these prices and watch for more upside. Alright. G L U U and then I'm gonna start getting into our winners. Some of our proven winners that we've been long on. All right, GLUU set some all-time highs not too long ago. I like doing business once we break out above this for continuation. Over 582, 585, 590. All right, don't let prices start running too far without you. Even six is starting to get a little carried away. Six is fine. That's a quarter away, but I'm saying you know. So set a buy stop, get triggered to get inside of that, alright? G-O-U-U. That thing can be, you never know. Can double itself in the next, who knows. H-E-A-R is another winner. Straight winner on this one, guys. What did I say about H-E-A-R last week, ladies and gentlemen? When it was, give you a five day. When it was in this area, when it was having this weakness, I said, don't count H-E-A-R out. It was in this area, all right? Don't count it out. It had a lot of times where it dropped and pulled up, dropped and pulled up, dropped it. Hey, that's called surfing. That's what surfing's all about, riding waves. These things are going to be, it's not going to be a straight shot. That's what surfing's all about. Having the guts to take your entry and sit inside of this behavior here. That's where you, that's where you develop your guts as a trader. And you can start learning how to sit tight like Livermore said. You start developing some guts. I've developed some pretty good guts in the last year or so. Being able to sit through all this kind of 
behavior. As long as I'm looking at the behavior, I said, this is normal behavior. So just like I said last week, when this came down here, I said, this is normal behavior, guys. Look for this thing to continue. And we picked up off of 15 and change, off of 14 and change, and we've clearly started heading to the top, all right? Near this. So I like it to knock over 20. My golly. And you guys remember this thing. You remember us getting long here. H-E-A-R. So it was down here, and I said, all right, I like it still. All right, this is what we're doing. Upside, so I like the strength to continue on H-E-A-R. Wow, here goes another winner. Let's see how this is working out here. I believe we had a really good Thursday and Friday on this, all right? You see, what did I tell you guys last session that I showed you this stock? When it came down here, no, it's actually down here. What, what, what day is this? 530. Yeah, so we're around here, right in this area. And I said, don't count this stock out. We were actually right here. That was the beginning of the week, 525. We were right here at 525. And I said, don't count this stock out. All right, and look what it did. I said, I looked, we looked at the past behavior. We dropped down, and I said, even though we dropped down, I guarantee that we possibly could recover this making higher high over this and we absolutely made a higher high and this thing still just psh, riding that wave I got shares in that I've got shares in HEAR I've got shares in TNDM I've got shares in those winners alright I've got shares in those winners alright I've got shares in those winners alright IRDM. This thing is wonderful. IRDM. This thing's wonderful. All right. I like for it to hold this price here and continue on. I like for it to hold this price and continue. IRDM. While we're doing this follow, I'm showing you guys none but strength for June. All right. No need for you guys to be confused about where the trends are at. I don't want to hear it. Don't give it about. Don't give me that excuse. All right. So here we go. IRDM to hold 16 and continue up over 17. All right. Beautiful stock there, man. Beautiful stock. Beautiful. All right. All right. And let me give you. Let's get. Let's break down the level on this because I'm looking at long on this. So I said I like it's I like how it's holding 16. I like how it's holding this strain. Whenever a stock for one, you guys already know my show. Whenever you see this is already a major clue. That's already a major signal. You I I already like I I will start getting long on this. All right. I'll start getting long on this way before this move stopped going. All right? Started going. So watch IRDM for continuation. LXRX. LX. LXRX. Yeesh. Come on, Tyson. Alright. Nothing but strength, guys. Don't give me that nonsense that you had to call CNBC and listen to Kramer and he blew your account up because... He told you to he likes such and such stock because whatever reason and he didn't tell you how to get in or out of it. And it wasn't a it wasn't only reason why I would buy a stock and if you heard from Richard Dibbs, the only reason for my purpose to buy a stock is for it to be in an uptrend. I don't care about anything else. All the fundamentals, the sentiment, everything will show up in price. Stock watch list, trend following with Tyson, guys. Alright? So here we go. I'd like for us to hold this price. Look at this five day. Look at that strength on the five day. Really, guys, look at the strength on the five day. Jesus. Guarantee it's going to look pretty decent on the one day. There it is. From 1160 to 1260, holding up. Man, watch that thing for some upside this week, this month. All right. Beautiful stock there, alright? LXRX. I already showed you. Let's look, take a look at MEET. I showed you guys this one last week. Alright, pretty decent stock. 
Doesn't have the most of uh, uh, market cap in it. I think it has something around a hundred or something like hundred and something like that. I don't like trading market cap under two fifty or under half a million, half a billion. I'm sorry, but you know this thing showing up. The reason why is because it has some upside to it. All right, it has some upside to it. Remember, I showed you guys. I said this thing was kind of on an uptrend, started to come down, had had some higher highs here. All right, and those higher highs continued after we looked at them. All right. Those higher highs continued after we took a look at them. All right, there they are. We looked at them on Monday around the 25th. And we've did exceptionally well since then. All right. All right. So I like for this thing to hold up these prices, hold up this gap up for sure. I like for it to hold up 390. Which it darn right well might do, and you can set you a buy stop over 4, 405, 410. Make sure prices are actually moving. All right, just barreling up against four. That thing's ready to get out, guys. Watch for a breakout on MEET. See, -E right. Sirius XM. I showed you guys this stock. Wonderful company. Wonderful everything here on this thing. Wonderful everything here on Sirius XM. I mean, there's so much market cap behind this thing. If the share structure and the everything works correctly with the company, man. All right. We were at some ridiculous kind of prices that were okay. All right. The market was like, wait a second. But what did I show you guys plenty of times about us having stocks coming here, coming here, shooting up, and then coming down on themselves and totally coming back inside this area. 40, you know, no, you never know. But I showed you guys plenty of stocks that opened up high, you know, came up high and kind of find a sentiment back there. All right. So we don't know where Sirius XM is going to do, but it's a darn good stock. And it's a darn good stock to hold for over, you know, until direction changes. All right. Wow, this thing's wonderful. Can't find nothing better in a stock besides this. All right. I like for it to hold up this area. Let's say here 675, 680. But I like this thing to break out, hold up over 720. Watch this thing for the next higher high, higher, higher high, higher high, higher high, higher high, higher high, right? You get the idea. That's the only thing we're following. Higher highs, higher highs, higher highs, none of that other crap. Higher highs, higher highs. We're just following higher highs, you guys. Let's not make this complicated, all right? You need to be able to do this over a long period of time, and you're not going to be able to do it consistently if it's all complicated. It just needs to be very simple process. So I like Sirius XM. We've been looking at this for over a month now, okay? Ben showed you guys this one way back in the beginning of May, all right? So it's still a winner, obviously. Wow, one stock I don't want to go on the show without showing you guys is SE. I think this is it. I'll be able to tell once I uh, get to take a look at the stock. Yeah, this is it. Okay, SEE. SE. C Limited American Depository Shares. Okay, look at this darn thing. Beautiful stock, beautiful strength. Okay. Can you see what it's done in one month's time? Incredibly bullish, right? Incredible. Look at the five day. All these stocks, what I'm showing you, and they look that good on the five day. That's a good stock. Consistent candles, consistent price action, just consistency across the board. Right, man. That's all we do here. Good trend followers follow consistency. All right. Good price action. Okay. Follow this strength. My opinion. We'll keep reading quotes and make sure we're doing business correctly. Oh, that looks kind of fugly, but look what it did. All right, came across all this, all this. Just it's even over this now. What is this? Let me see. It's over that. It's over sixteen, sixteen. It already whatever this was in a year ago's time. It's over that. So this thing has definitely got a lot going on. All right, so watch that for continuation. All right.
Watch that thing to hold 16 and hold these levels and break out above 1650. All right, SC. All right, I'm getting ready to close out. We'll give you guys VG and Zynga. Under Armour looks pretty nice too. Looks just like these guys, nothing but strength. You guys know the lingo, so to speak. All right, I like this thing over here. I like it to break out above this resistance it's barreling against. Over 12, okay? So that's a little bit high. Things are getting away. Over in 11.75. Okay? Just follow this thing. Ride that thing. Ride that locomotive, <laughs> I like to say. I like for prices to hold this 11.60. See how it stopped right here, coincidentally? I like for prices to hold that, all right? And it may bounce off this 200-day moving average. See, it bounced here, bounced here, may bounce again. And it may just meet here. See how it's kind of meeting this 200-day? All right. VG. Zynga, like I just said. Beautiful stuff going on with this dog. Upside. I'm going to show you the upside it has potential. Little, Some upside here. All right. But you never know. When we break out, we can keep going. All right. I like the strength behind this Zynga thing, alright? For the month of May, nothing but consistency and price action, alright? No need to question this consistency here. Alright? Alright, you guys, so I'll see you in the middle of the week. We'll update the trend picture, okay? Give you guys UA. You guys, be careful, manage that risk in June, and let's make some money, man. Let's, let's manage that risk. Let's keep riding these waves out. Under Armour looking really nice. Had a bottom here. Looks like that EVH I showed you guys at the beginning of the cast today. Remember I showed you guys the stock that I said when it, I said watch a stock that gaps down like this. Okay, and then hits a bottom and starts having higher highs and higher highs. And here you see it again that I'm, I'm, no, I'm no liar. This thing was kind of at a downtrend, rounding. Let's, let's back pan out and see what's really going on. So... Prices were up here clearly at 45, hit the bottom here at 10, kind of like the other stock we looked at, hit a bottom of 10, and just higher highs and higher highs, higher highs. And you get the picture. So watch UA for all of June and all of 2018 for this sentiment to keep continuing, all right? I like for it to hold 1920 and continue. I like for it to. I like a higher high above this though. Alright. Set a buy stop order. Get you triggered into this market here. Or you can even buy the closing price here. Just start riding that wave. You can you don't have to watch it all day long. You can just set you a buy stop at 1950 and bang. Alright? So that's the trend picture. You guys be careful in June. And I'll see you guys back here in the middle of the week, alright?